It's Tina from Simple Tech Media. If you're like me, you're running out of storage space on your laptop or your desktop computer. And that is so frustrating, especially when you're in a hurry. I recently purchased some extra storage and I've also gone through and deleted everything I can think of that's extra. And my downloads folder is still telling me that I don't have enough storage. Let me show you how simple it is to switch my downloads folder so that it's storing straight to my external storage system. First of all, I am on an HP computer. I'm on a desktop computer. And you can see that I have my folder open so that my downloads is showing and it has that X there. It is not happy with me. It is angry with all of the things I've been storing. It is full. And when I click on it, you'll see it barely has anything in it. Now the downloads folder is connected to another folder, but I've gone through and deleted all the things I can think of. And it's still, there are just really big files going through the system right now with doing so many videos. And I just can't keep up with keeping it empty enough for all the things that I'm doing. I want to connect my downloads folder with the SSD that I have connected. And if I scroll down, you'll see that I have connected in my D drive what's labeled as T7. So that is my uh, SSD. And you can see that I have some things already in that folder. And I want to be able to download things and just go straight into that drive. So when I look at my downloads, I'm going to right click and choose properties. And then as I come in here, again, it's showing me that red X and that red X, <laughs> I feel like it's just mocking me, telling me, nope, you can't do that. You can't do that either. Nope, we're gonna say no again. And that's what it's been doing to me for weeks now and it's driving me nuts. So you'll see when I'm in this dialog box that I have some different tabs that are available. And I want to click on the location. And this tells me where the files are being stored. Right now, it's coming from a different place. And I do want to move that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on move. And now I want to find where I want to save this to. And so over on the left, I'm going to scroll down and choose that D drive so that it will pull and download straight to this over here. And I'm going to go ahead and make a folder in here just called downloads just so that I can see if it's doing what I think it's going to do. So I am in my D drive. I'm going to go ahead and select this specific folder in here and I'm going to choose select folder. And now it's going to go to the D drive to that downloads folder on that SSD, that external drive that I have connected. I'm going to hit OK. Do I want to move all of the files from the old location to the new location? Uh, I'm going to say no. Let's see what happens. I'm going to close that. So let's see how it works now with the download. So here's a file that I'm going to download and click on download clip. And then up here at the top, I see the little arrow that's telling me that there is a download in progress. And once it's finished, it should have pushed it onto my SSD. Once the download is complete, I can click on this little button up here that has the down arrow with that line underneath. If I click on that, it shows me my downloads. And here's the one that I just downloaded. Now I can click on the little folder with it to show in the folder. I can click on the little box next to it with the arrow pointing up to the upper right to open up the file. I don't need to open up this file. I want to see where it's saved to. When I open up the file explorer, which is clicking on the little button that has the file folder on it, over on the left, it gives me the downloads folder. And this downloads now is connected straight to that D drive. Yeah, so the file that I just downloaded is right here. So everything went to that, that drive that I had for the external. And if I scroll down over here on the left side, you can see that, that T7, my D drive, which is because I have it plugged into a certain port on my computer, which is the D drive port. Here I can click on downloads and it takes me to that same place. So how does this help me? 
whenever you have a file that you're downloading, you don't always have the option of choosing where you're going to save it. For example, when Nikki and I record our Simple Tech Media podcast each week, and I export the files, the tracks that we made, so it has the video, it has the audio for each of us. It's a, it's a big file. They're big files. They go down into a zip folder because they're so large. And I go to export, it exports it directly to my downloads. And without going through a lot of different setting changes, it just goes straight to downloads without giving me the option of choosing where it's saving to. And by taking the time to direct my downloads straight to this external drive that I've purchased and I have so much storage on, it has saved me a lot of time. So it's saving me the time of going straight there, but there have been times over the last two months where our files have been so large that when we go to save, it goes through the process of trying to export and save, and it takes hours. And you get to the end of that process, and you've been waiting for hours for this to download, only for it to get to the very end and say, sorry, there wasn't enough space, and to waste all of that time. That's happened several times. So we both use external drives now so that we're able to know for sure how much storage we have to work with. We can clear the storage off of this SSD whenever we get to the point where we've uploaded the file. It's already on YouTube. It's already on the different social platforms that we want them to go on. We can clear them out and we're able to keep track of how much storage is there. You can also store apps and software on an external drive like this. I do have to make sure if I unplug the drive that I plug it back into the exact same port so that it's pulling to that D drive instead of some of the others that might show up. Because on the back of my computer, there are different USB ports, USB-C. And so on this one, I'm using a USB-C. So I have to make sure that I plug it in each time. If you find that you just don't have much storage anymore on your devices, this might be a solution for you. And so I hope that this is a help. Please be sure to share with others who you know this could help. And also like and subscribe.